Fulton County DA Fawny Willis is wasting absolutely no time in moving ahead with the Georgia election interference case. Today, she proposed a trial date of March 4th, 2024 for Donald Trump and 18 others. That is one day before Super Tuesday, which of course is in the heat of the presidential primary season. But DA Willis is also focusing on another big court date when Trump and his co-defendants will be arraigned and enter their specific pleas. She wants that to happen the week of September 5th, right after Labor Day. Meanwhile, a judge will hear Mark Meadows' request to move his trial on the Georgia charges to federal court. That court date is now set for August 28th. Also this evening, we're learning more from a new legal filing about what special counsel Jack Smith was looking for in Donald Trump's Twitter account. Earlier this year, Smith got a search warrant to access a whole range of information from Trump's account, including direct messages, draft tweets, and location data. The former president is now facing, and I want you to think about this, a total of 91 separate felony charges after four separate indictments. And, you know, his Republican backers claim that all these charges are just the result of corruption and conspiracies against Trump. But please remember, those charges, 91 charges, represent the work of multiple different grand juries, which are made up of everyday Americans. Then there are separate judges, prosecutors, and investigators, not the so-called deep state. No surprise, Donald Trump is continuing his relentless attacks on officials who are involved in these prosecutions. Judge Tanya Chutkin, who is overseeing the federal election interference case, has officially warned him about making inflammatory statements, but he's not stopping. And tonight, a Texas woman is under arrest for allegedly threatening to kill Chutkin if Trump doesn't get elected in 2024. And NBC News has learned some Trump supporters have posted online the supposed names and addresses of Georgia grand jurors who indicted Trump on Monday, people who are simply doing their civic duty, patriots. Earlier today, one former Trump official who left the White House and has spoken out against Trump since offered this warning. We now have a political party that is mainstreaming that violence as an acceptable tactic. And the studies show that the GOP base is embracing it. Donald Trump continues to blow that dog whistle. We are talking about real threats to real people, and we've got to take it seriously.